Hey guys, Sean here at Mahala.com, and in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you about Windows Action Center and why you should know about it. Windows Action Center is the notification center for Windows 7 to let you know about items that require an action and review your computer's status to resolve issues. Examples of this would be if you needed to do an update or if your firewall was off, then the Action Center would let you know this. To open the Action Center, just right click on the flag in the bottom right hand corner of the screen and click on Open Action Center. Or you can click on the Start menu, then click on Control Panel and select Review Your Computer Status. Now from the Action Center, this is where your action items will be shown and it is divided into two main categories, Security and Maintenance. Under the Security tab, there's the Firewall and you can view your installed firewall. And on this computer, I'm using McAfee's Firewall. And whether or not you're using Windows Firewall or a third party firewall like McAfee, it's really not that big of a difference. They both require attention to micromanage, and as long as you have an active firewall, you should be safe. Next is the Windows Update. This is just letting you know if your system is set to get updates automatically or if they're turned off. And if you have your automatic updates turned off, I just suggest you stay on top of manually updating your system. Next is the Virus Protection. Now it is important to have Virus Protection, and the Security Center will let you know whether or not you are protected. If you do not have a virus protection program, don't worry, you can download Microsoft Security Essentials for free and includes antivirus software. Also, if you don't know where to find the Security Essentials, you can click on the link in the description of this video. Also, if you're downloading and installing the Security Essentials, just make sure to download the right version for your computer. To see which version you should download, hit the keyboard shortcut Windows key plus pause break at the same time. Then this will show you your system type, whether or not you have a 64-bit or 32-bit system. When it comes to spyware protection, Windows 7 does come with Windows Defender, but if you'd like to use another program, go for it. Just make sure you have some type of software for spyware protection, and make sure to do routine scans on your system. Next, if you have an action item for internet security settings, you can fix it by changing your settings. Just simply type internet security in the search field of the start menu and raise your security settings. The user account control just simply notifies you when programs want to make changes to your computer. This is so you have more control of what is being installed and modified on your system. I suggest you just leave this one alone at the default settings, but if you're annoyed with the pop-up window of, do you want to allow blank program to make changes, you can set the notification for lower. Now for network access protection, this is only for connecting to office networks. The only thing that happens here is you will not have full access to the network unless your system meets the network access protection settings. Now on the maintenance tab, the check for solutions settings is just for reporting problems to Microsoft and for automatically fixing those problems. Also there's a backup reminder to make sure you keep a recent backup. Lastly in the action center is troubleshoot system maintenance. This is just to keep you notified about your system maintenance. For example, the last time you defragmented or optimized your hard drive. And now you have all the knowledge you need to use the Windows Action Center. So next time you see a notification in the Action Center, you'll know exactly what to do. Now if you'd like to stay connected to this learning course, make sure to subscribe and feel free to rate and comment below. And thanks for watching.